Hi guys, my name is Zen and uh, this is Maybe Bonsai. Um, today we're going to focus on this Dwarf Jade uh, Portrait Care Afro. It's a variegated version of it. Uh, as you can see, there's white and green on the leaves. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's really overgrown uh, for the whole summer. Um, I haven't touched it. Uh, the only thing I did this summer was I cut the trunk from the bottom because it had reverse taper. So I cut it where the taper started and I planted it into this uh, bonsai soil. I just left it for the whole summer. It, uh, it took, so I was glad that it didn't die. I was, I was really worried that it might die. And uh, it didn't, so the entire tree made it. I, I, <laughs> it was a huge operation. Um, I'm really glad that it made it. So today I'm going to prune this back and uh, hopefully I could see what kind of structure it has now. Just random growth right now. So we'll get started with that. So this tree has a lot of uh, regular dwarf jade growth, which means you got bar branches, which is coming out both ways uh, on, a, on the same spot. And then it grows, grows and then it goes the uh, perpendicular direction. And you got two branches coming out. Um, <laughs> I've seen people in the club with uh, better formation of the tree. And I don't, I don't know how they did it. Maybe they took a cutting or something, but I'm not sure how to get there from this. Um, so I'm just going to point it back and we'll see where it goes. So I, I looked at the tree and um, it's got the top is cut off. So the top, there's nothing here and then branches coming out both sides here. And then it's got a, a leader coming out here, which I think can be developed into a, a nice leader with taper because this is a really thin branch and then you got the trunk at the bottom and I can always grow the tree a bit bigger so that this will grow out and uh, it'll become more like a tree rather than this uh, bushy looking plant. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to get more height on the tree which means that I don't want some of these branches here. I, I, you know, I want it to go up more and I'm going to take this whole branch here off. And I'll probably take this branch off as well so that it goes up. And I'm most likely remove the bottom branches as well so that it's more of a upright uh, tree going up and then uh, you can develop branches later on uh, I guess it's not a problem I um, yeah anyway so I'll take these off first and then we'll see what we're left with also it's a fairly cold day today right now it's only nine degrees So there goes that entire branch. That's what that looks like. I think I'm going to plant it as a, as a cutting. Um, these dwarf jays are fairly easy to propagate. Plus, they're very easy to take care of because uh, they don't need that much light. I found I uh, it's in my office every day, so the office light is on during the day, and then at night I do have lights running, but they're they're not really aimed at the jade. Um, but they're, they're, they're still fine uh, in the room because it's got a sulfate spacing window so it's got indirect sunlight. And then I'll probably prune this back. You know, this is too long. Actually, I'm going to take this whole thing off. I don't want that. So at least this little cutting, it has a nice branch structure right from the get-go. I'm going to get rid of this actually. And I'll plant that as a cutting. I'm actually going to, I'm thinking of putting in water first to get it rooted. It's just easier that way, so I'm going to do that. And then I think here, I was thinking of taking this as the leader. So then it goes here and goes up there. Um, but I could also take that branch as a side leader as it, it does have taper and then I could take the upright branch as a leader so that it kind of goes like goes up, goes left, goes up again and uh, if I plant this on, a, on an angle like that it would, it would look okay I think. 
Um, so I'll just prune these branches back for now and then see what we get. Uh, the bottom branches, I think I'm going to remove. Um, yeah. Actually, I'll uh, I'll remove the one on the left, on this on my left. I'll keep the one on the right. So I'll prune the one on the right back. I'll get rid of the one on the left because my both of my potential leaders are on the left side. So I want something on the right to balance it out. So get rid of the bottom branch. Again, that's a better looking tree form than the regular bar branch, jade branches that you get normally. So I keep that as a cutting as well. <laughs> I know I said no, no more tropical trees, but, but I don't even consider this a tropical. This succulent is, um, you know, like I said, it's so easy to propagate and take care of. I don't really mind to have more of it. So now we're coming with this bottom. There's still a couple more bar branches. I just pruned these back to see what they got. This, uh, this branch here, this here is going upwards and I don't want that. So I will go in Get rid of this one. Okay, so I think I'm going to. I'm trying to pick a. Hmm, I'm trying to pick a front for the tree so I could cut, prune base on it. And I think I'm going to take this as the front sorry not that like this towards you and i'm going to get rid of this branch here um so when i plant it i'm going to plant it on an angle so it comes out like that and it goes up i know it's hard to see you know what let me get rid of this branch again not cutting <laughs> So as you can see the trunk line here will go up on the angle and then go here and then take this one. Um, this I'll also keep as well because that can be a thick branch off to the side and this could be the new leader-ish. You know, so a long way to go of course, but uh, I think it'll, it'll eventually get there. Trying to clean up dead wood there. If you can call it dead wood, it's not even wood yet. So I'm cutting this here to make it a more smooth transition into the uh, the new leader. And these guys heal up fairly uh, quickly and easily. So. It's gonna look like, you know, a mess when, I f when I'm finished with for now, but it'll be better in no time. So this bottom, there's a branch here that's coming out. There's two branches going the exact same direction right beside each other. I'm gonna take the one that's near the trunk off so it doesn't look as busy. And these guys, I'll just cut them back. Take this back one more, and I'm going to take the tip off. This this one is pointing up, so I will get rid of that. I want the more horizontal branches. There it goes. Okay, so that'll be my front. Uh, on, the, on the angle.
Yeah. I'm gonna take the top branch here off. This one is coming in towards the tree. So we'll get rid of that. Just keep one leaf from here. That's okay. This one is coming towards us, uh, which is okay, but I want to shorten it by quite a bit here. I'm just shorten this to the first pair of leaves. The small branches I'm not going to keep as cuttings, or else I'll have too many. Huh. Okay, so. This is a new leader, or a new semi-leader, I should say. I'll take this back to the first pair of leaves. Let's just have a look here. Yeah, like that. Uh, going to get rid of this side branch, actually. Because I have these coming the same direction, I don't want them to be the exact same. I want this one to go that way instead. So now we have this big branch that I haven't touched, uh, which is it's a cool branch. It's a good branch. It's going to the back, um, but I do need to make it smaller. So I'm gonna take this back way back. This side is going a bit too low at the, at the angle of the, uh, the branch. So I'm going to take that whole thing off. Hmm. Even this is not really ideal. So I'll take it back here. If something grows, that's fine. If something doesn't, then it's not a big deal. Uh, I can have growth over here and you know, further back, that's fine. So this I will... There's actually a divide here, in one into two. Um, I think it's a good, it's a good branch to have. So I'm thinking of leaving it untouched, but I know if you don't if you don't prune that branch, then uh, it's gonna get more vigor than the rest because the rest got pruned, and because of it, it might get much bigger a lot quicker as well. So I will take some off, just a tiny bit, just to tip off. Same as this. Just a little bit more so that they're all pruned up. Okay, so we're gonna see how this develops. Uh, a lot of drastic cuts. I'm just gonna kind of clean up some of these uh, some stumps, make it flatter on the trunk. That's a bit chilly. Clean this bottom one up. Okay, so I think that's how I'm going to do for this jade. Um, I, I'm not going to repot it now. I don't think it's that strong because uh, it just rooted in the summer. And I don't really know what's going on down there uh, actually there's lots of roots at the bottom which ooh, to my surprise 
uh, it'd be hard to see. See, there's lots of roots at the bottom. Which is surprising to me because this just, you know, it, it, I just rooted it in the summer, so it was quite, uh, quite young. But that's good, but I'm not going to repot it now. It probably wouldn't need to be repotted in a year or two at least. Um, I'm going to let it grow next season. Let it, let, let it get strong uh, over the winter and next uh, probably summer. And then maybe I'll repot it into a, a bonsai pot. But hopefully this um, turns out to be, you know, everything uh, lives and, you know, get some better branches. Okay, so that's it for this tree. Um, I recently got a, a package in the mail from, uh, you know, China, the, the stuff that I ordered. It came with some stuff, I'll, uh, I'll show you that next. So here's what I got, uh, part of it. So it's a pot. It came with uh, some uh, chicken manure fertilizer for free. Um, it came with a few different bags of rooting powder and other fertilizers to, to just add it to the package. We didn't even, I didn't even want it. They just came. Uh, it's, it's like a part of the package. Uh, that's all that. And then this pot, it's a pretty big pot. I think it's about probably 20 centimeters, maybe, maybe a bit less. But it's the biggest, no, not the biggest, I guess. The fourth one is the biggest one, but this is the second biggest pot I have. It's, def it's definitely the deepest. So if you look at it, there's some, uh, you know, sculpting on, on the side, which looks pretty good from afar. Um, well, actually, the, the sculpting looks pretty good from, from close as well. Um, but the inside of the pot is kind of a mess. There's a, you know, it came with these drainage screens, which is cool. But the legs, I think it was built as one piece. I'm not sure. I guess I don't know what, how they did it. There's a stamp. But you can see the paint is like all over the place. I'm not sure if that's common or not, but I don't know. And um, there's some details in the pot. The, the inside, there's a lot of paint splatters. There's some, uh, you know, just marks of, of work, I guess. And these, the walls are not flat. They're all kind of uh, really bumpy. Uh, I guess it's due to the carving. I'm not sure how they did this. There's some paint splatters on the inside as well. Probably can't see it that well, but take my word for it. See how it's not flat. The worst part, I think, is the feet. The feet, it's like they pushed that out or something like that. So it's like it's caved in. And because it's caved in, for sure, 100% it's going to trap water there. So whatever roots is going to grow into those uh, corners, it's probably going to rot because the water will just be sitting there and there's nothing you can do about it. So I don't know why they designed it like this. It's a Chinese pot, um, but it was quite cheap. <laughs> uh, everything, well, in, in China, it's not, it's not cheap. In China, it's just a regular price. But once you convert into Canadian, you know, which is five times less, so, <laughs> so it's quite cheap. Um, but it's a good quality pot as in the, the make of it. I hope that sound comes in really well. It's a high fire pot uh, made out of, uh, it's a Chinese clay, it's a sha. Uh, which is usually fire around 11 to 1200 degrees and should be able to stand the cold in the winter here although i don't have any uh, plants to test this with yet so it's nice you know i have other pots on the on order as well but i don't know when they're going to get here so i'm going to show you more actually on the inside here see here this is a uh, it's a piece of clay that's kind of you know i try to chip it off but it, it wouldn't come off and then there's like a scratch, you know. Um, so yeah, just the finish, at least on the inside, it's, it's not very good. Um, but the outside looks nice, but you know, you know, it's kind of disappointing, to be honest. So that's, that's it for that. The other purchase I made was this watering can. It is a 4.5 liter watering can. And uh, it's plastic, it's quite light. Uh, it comes with this. The, uh, whatever you call it, the, the nozzle, I guess. Um, it had, I don't know where it is now. Oh, right, it's on the inside, that's right. This thing, you can take it off. Oh, 
I think this is the best part. It comes with this filter here. So you put it on so that you, if you get like little rocks and whatever, so you want to come through the water. The nozzle is quite, it's thin or thinner than the one that I had before. Um, it's not the finest, but it's, it's, it's good enough for bonsai for sure. It's not going to wash the soil away with this. And this was only like, I don't know, $10 or something. Uh, it's, it's a, I think it's sold in Japan because it's got Japanese on the bottom, but it's made in China, probably because it's cheaper to make it there. <laughs> and uh, it waters fairly well, so I'm going to show you the watering with this can. So I filled the can, so here we go with the water. It's a pretty fine mist, but it's not, you know, not that fine, but it's coming out really soft. So it's, uh, it just lands like, like light rain, basically. So whatever soil you have, it wouldn't get washed away. And it covers a fairly good area. If I wanted to water stuff. So I think of all the, uh, everything that came, this, this was a huge success, the watering can. Um, I think I'm going to try to get a finer nozzle if I can, even though this one's good enough, but you know, always good to have finer. <laughs> so yeah, this was a huge success. The pot itself is a, I don't know, a 50% success, I guess, um, where it looks good from the outside, but not from the inside and the structure of it, it's not, it's, it's just not what I thought it would be. Um, anyways, that's it for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.